too late. No. Salvatore, no. Not like this. It can't be. My lady, it's done. Over. Finito. My love, he cannot be dead. He was a puppet living on a wish. This does not happen to spirits like his. Mistress, you're heartbroken. Why? You've seen dozens of puppets end up like this before. Salvatore, don't you see? Pinocchio is a boy inside. He is a boy inside a block of wood. I heard his wish and I will not forget it. We must save him, my noble knight. Very well. Do you insist? Recuperate e leto. Awaken within a few moments. Go fetch some medicine. Am I dead? I'm dead, aren't I? Oh, I am dead. Are you an angel now? No, no, Pinocchio, no, you are very much alive. But you must stay put. We have to give you some medicine before you can get up. Take this. It will make you strong again. <coughs> and afterwards, take this, and it will make your mouth taste much better. What is this? It's candy. But you must first take the medicine, Pinocchio. I don't want to. It smells disgusting. Well, I guess he's back to his normal self again. Hush. Salvatore, you must take this. <laughs> Are you finished already? Yep. Don't you want your candy? I ate that right after I took the medicine. Really? Both the medicine and your candy? Yes, my fairy. I did it just as you said, to get it over with so I can get healthy and strong again. Pinocchio, look at yourself. Ah! What's wrong with my face? I don't understand. I took the medicine, I should be fine. Huh? All right, all right, I didn't take the medicine. What? Oh, that's right. I didn't want to because I only wanted the candy. I'm sorry, dear fairy, please forgive me. I lied. That's what happens when you lie, Pinocchio. I can see right through it. Do you know what will happen to you if you don't take this medicine? Yes, my fairy. I wouldn't survive. You've been so kind to bring me back so I can carry out my wishing. I must take this medicine to make you happy. I love you, dear fairy. <coughs> Good. I knew you could do it. But now, about your wish. The only way you can become a real boy now is if you search for Geppetto and bring him back home without any more trouble. Do you understand me, Pinocchio? I've given you many, many chances. And if you want to become a real boy, life will not allow you so many lucky turns. Thank God he's okay! Now, you are well enough to leave. But promise me that you will keep in your heart at all times the memory of your wish, my beloved Pinocchio. Oh, I will, my fairy. Forever and after. I love you, dear fairy. Oh, how I love you! <laughs> had in mind when she said, remember your wish. Dario, you know I need these coins to save my father. I was attacked last night, and I don't know if those assassins took my money or not, but I have to at least look. Ah! 
those thieves. Think, Pinocchio. Who else knew you were out here last night, and who else knew you had the money buried here? Clearly, I was not just warning you for my own personal reasons. Clearly, you should listen to me more often. Like right now. Duh! Cricket, what's the point of good luck if it runs off every time you need it? I me knocked over another perfectly good bottle of milk. Well, at least it's not cow poop on my sandal this time. Uh, excuse me. What? Who's that? Hello, I'm Pinocchio. I was wondering if you might help me. See, I'm not really supposed to be here, all tied up like this. Pinocchio. Pinocchio, ah, yes. The Pinocchio. I've heard all about you. Our schoolmaster has even begun using you as the bad example more than I. Oh, you must be the thief that's been around these parts. I'm supposed to report you. Try me! No, I think I'd rather be freed. Well. Why don't you just say so in the first place? Now I get to steal the old hag's fruits and her watchdog. Thank you, I really appreciate it. Wait, where are you off to so fast? Don't you want to live a little dangerously first? Believe me, I've lived dangerously enough for an entire lifetime. <laughs> you seem like a bore anyways. Scram! Ow! <laughs> Are you trying to get me killed?
on the road again. How can you be so happy all of a sudden? We've just wasted months in that jail cell. And for me, there was no reason at all. Oh, you silly marionette. Of course you've done nothing wrong to have needed a good long time for reflection and self-induced repentance. <laughs> well, I don't care what you think. I still want to grow up and become a real boy, and that I shall do. Okay, fine. But I'm going to a place where there's non-stop fun, candy, and we can do whatever we want without getting into any trouble. Well, good for you. But is my father there? I don't think so. Well, you never know. There are puppets there, so I'm sure there must be some puppet makers. Maybe he's been hired as one of them after being fired by Ignazio. No pun intended. No. No. Do you really think my father could be there? Sure. Why not? Well, I guess I can begin looking for him there, since I have nowhere else to look. Sweet. The land of joys where we can make noise and laugh and play all day. The land of joys where all silly boys and no girls can get away. No parents and teachers, no mean safety papers around. in the whole world. Yes, I suppose. But tomorrow I really must begin looking for my father. These two should be ready by morning. They didn't waste much time when they got here. Got straight to eating and dancing and singing as soon as they heard the music. All right, get ready to load them up once the sun rises. The real one we keep, but the puppet? It's of no use to us, just dump it in the ocean. Oh. Oh. oh, my head. My head is so sore. Feels as though something has pierced right through it. Shut up. I'm trying to sleep. But Lucignolo, you know I have to get an early start to begin looking for my father. You are making my head hurt even more. Your head hurts too? Anke io! Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> last night wasn't exactly, uh, Pinocchio? Yeah? Uh. Oh, no. You've... You've got... No, you've got... Oh, oh my God, no! No, 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 no! 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 Ah! What good fast work asses these boys will make. Where's the fortune? And get that puppet out of the way. 
Pinocchio! Pinocchio. What do you mean? Pinocchio, it's the Blue Fairy. She's dead. But... What? How? <laughs> That's not possible. It is in fact very possible, you foolish, foolish child. Come, you must see for yourself. Salvatore, I loved her. Part of being a real boy in real life is learning how important these distinctions are. The Blue Fairy. She trusted you could see them for yourself eventually. And I can. I know now, I can. It doesn't matter now, Pinocchio. You say goodbye. It was the end. It's over. Isabella, I'm sorry. I should not have gotten so angry at you. It's just that, well, my best friend is gone, and my fairy is gone, 
but my father is still nowhere to be found. I don't know what to do. Nobody believes in me anymore. How am I supposed to believe in myself if nobody believes in me? Pinocchio, I have someone I want you to meet. Come home with me. My father is a lumberjack. He's also very familiar with all sorts of puppet makers and puppet masters. And perhaps he'll know where your father's found. Um, father? I brought home my friend, Pinocchio. Pinocchio? The pine nut marionette? Is this Geppetto's Pinocchio, whom I've heard so much about? Bravo! Ah! Pinocchio, I know why you're here. You are in search of Geppetto. But of course, why wouldn't you be? He's been missing for months. Please, sir, please. Do you know where I might be able to find him? Mm, a very determined young puppet. Well, I suppose I could just show you. Where's he going? It's OK, he'll be back. He knows where your father is. Come with me. There. I don't see anything. Wait for it. Ah, there. You want me to go inside that to look for my father? Well, that is where well, Ignatius's behaviors all end up. So yes. All right. All right, I'll do it. I must find my father. I must go to any length to find my father. Thank you, Signori. And Rosabella. My mind. My mind is really lost now. Of course the voices that would start would be that of Pinocchio. No, Babo. Sonoio, it's really me. I've come to rescue you. I know you've been trapped in here for so long, I'm sorry. Pinocchio? Where are you? Is that really my Pinocchio? See, si, Babo. It's really me. Now nothing can keep you from me. Not Ignazio, not even the shark at the bottom of the sea. sneeze, we might be able to swim out with the current. Oh, my boy, how smart you become. Here, just sprinkle some here and there on the tongue. Okay, get ready, Father. We'll have to be quick. One, two, three, go! Pinocchio, my boy! Where are you? Pinocchio! Here, Geppetto? Here. Geppetto, you're safe! Geppetto, your puppy will be okay. He saved your life. Everything's going to be fine. What a brave boy you have raised. But is Pinocchio really gone? I don't know, Rosabella. months ago. I recognize its bark. There's none other quite like it. 
It's pine. It's Pinocchio's pine. I would recognize that one anywhere. adventure I promised you, and quite an adventure this was. The life of a puppet, of course, is always bound to be dramatic, filled with hilarity, irony, tragedy. But the life of a puppet who strives to become a real boy, that story is one filled with morality. Children must learn from Pinocchio that following your conscience will always simplify the problems of real life. No matter how determined the world seems to be to doubt you, if you refuse to doubt yourself, others will too. Don't choose the life of a marionette, too strong to orders, to think for yourself. Choose the real life, like Pinocchio did. 